guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episodes 5 and 6 of Simpheg G. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 5 in 3, 2, 1, go. So we're literally just gonna, okay, alright, so we're just gonna show the end. Okay, because I mean, I'm not ready to just see that shit all over again, because Chris, and I don't need to cry today. I mean, yes, even though it's so Christmas for me, damn it. I don't want to cry. Okay, so here's a really funny thing that I found out today. And this is really for probably mm, fans of Aoyuki and then like also Pretty Cure fans. And okay, since the new Pretty Cure series is starting next year, I was thinking, like, I've been thinking about this for a while. And usually a lot of my favorite actresses are always like typically eventually going to be in the Pretty Cure series. Whether they are the main cure or they're like the last badass cure that eventually comes in, right? So, we get the preview today. <laughs> I go on Twitter, I'm just like, yeah, 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 yeah. and I was like, hmm, wouldn't it be funny if Aoi Yuki was in this show? I mean, it would be like the third magical girl she's specifically played. I get, <laughs> I get this weird feeling just to check Twitter for like a second. And then I look, and it says, B.A. Aoyuki. And I was like, no, it's fucking not. And then I looked again, and it is Aoi fucking Yuki. It's <laughs> fucking pretty here. So essentially, I mean, I'm going to be, like, next month, I'm going to be watching three damn shows with this woman in it. Fucking Isekai. This <laughs> fucking pretty here. I mean, this last year was... um the year of one of my other favorite voice actors, like, not Sarami, but, like, another one, and next year's gonna be her year, because she's got fucking, she's gonna probably be on Magic Cover Kodai, I'm not 100% sure, because I'm barely really playing that game, but, yeah. So, yeah, that's my TED Talk. Thank you for coming. Also, no, let's talk about one more thing. Fucking Subasa! Her VA! What the fuck? Are you serious? I never would have thought that was on from Persona 5. And she knows mom from Is the Owner Rabbit. What the fuck? I don't even hear on Takamiki. Maybe. I don't know. I'd have to listen to her again. See, is it weird that I feel like Maria possibly will have regrets about using her power? Maybe she doesn't want Fini to control her, her soul. I mean, yeah, well, really, she doesn't want Fini's soul to control her body, possibly. But this is, yeah, there you go, right there. I don't know. I mean, because she says something else, but then her body language is completely different in the way she looks, even after thinking about that. It's just like, I don't know. Maybe probably by the last three episodes of this series, she's going to be like, nah, I don't want to do it. That's fine. You gotta do what you gotta do. There has to be a reason why she doesn't want to stain her hands with blood. I, I mean, it, it could be the past from her friend, maybe? But, of course.
Wait, Chris, they're just kids. Excuse me, seriously? Not a bad song, though. <clears throat> yeah, because of the noise. And because of that fucker. You tell me they go on because of that one song, one damn song. I mean, you know, we ain't got any other songs they can sing. No, we just. Mm. And it would be three kids. He's like, yeah, let's be stupid and go over there. Go home. Go home. You don't need to kill those kids. <laughs> Dude is an asshole. Yeah, but Veer's being a dickhead and just was like, no, fuck it, let's just kill everybody. But still, I mean, goddamn. she cares. I mean, I'm not saying um, Kitty doesn't care about her, but mm -hmm. A balloon of a whale? Oh, 
Okay, look, if you just sit there and maybe talk to them, they may not want to fight you. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Talk! So hard headed. <sighs> mm. I mean, okay, so you know what I really was going to say? <laughs> this is true, which I don't think it is. You're going to kind of tell me that the day when, you know, Kanata and I, Maria was there too, and she got it. Shit like that. Well, hopefully, probably in the next few episodes will be bigger, maybe? We'll see. Was Serena the girl who died? Yeah, that's her. Okay, no. Let me take that back. Is Serena her sister? Yeah, see, oh my god, you say it's okay, but you're still gonna die. You didn't know at this moment, but we know because of what happened in episode one. And then by the time freaking Maria gets down there, it's too late. She's already dead.
They're really going to show this again, are they? Yep. And of course, no one's going to save her. To them, these girls are just objects. Nothing more, nothing less. See, that's something you probably just don't want to see in the middle of the night. You know, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, watching an anime. You're like, oh shit, I don't want to see a girl blood come out of her mouth. I shit like that. No, but hey. Hey, poor baby. Just been hiding there for years. No. That's some bullshit. He would be waiting there for him. Is it weird that something about this doesn't feel right to me? I understand doc the doctor being there. Yeah, exactly. That's what I want to know. Okay. But then what about Maria? Maria could have came. <laughs> oh, God.
you would be oh my god i really hate this guy like oh my god mm -hmm. oh! oh shit You're not gonna faint from blood loss, are you? Oh. She ain't gonna have an arm for the rest of this damn series. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? No. What the fuck? I mean, th there's no way. She's probably gonna have like a fucking robot arm. And then she's gonna have to get used to it. No, oh my god, QVQ. This poor child, oh my god. That thing is too fucking powerful. How the hell? See, okay, here's the thing. We know no, what, huh? Shut up, oh, shit, but We know one, one person cannot just go against that thing. And I understand, but yeah, it's crazy. And Subasa are a little, you know, they're tangled at the moment. They got their own little problems, but I'm guessing this is probably what's going to happen in this next episode. Do the doctor and the rest of the noise and the Neverhand, they're going to all go. And then they're going to do something with, you know, Hibiki's arm, get rid of her arm and shit like that. Miku is going to find her and she's probably be like, what the fuck happened to your arm? And shit, and I'm just going to be over here like, it's a long story, honey. That did not just fucking happen. This girl did not lose her damn arm. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? But, okay. Going back to now Maria and her flashback with her younger sister. It all makes sense now. But, okay. what Like, something in me still thinks she's gonna, as, as the mom was saying, you have regrets. And she's like, she kind of hesitated with it. And I was like, yeah, you got regrets. Just like everybody else. You don't want to do this. You know this is wrong. You may you may want to side with her now. And officially, so by uh, this next episode, we'll be at the halfway point. But by the time we get to, like, maybe, what, 10, 11, 12? No, 11, 12, and 13. That's predominantly when she's going to be like, no, I think this is wrong, what we're doing. And, um... But then by then, she, she's not going to have a voice. It, it, you know, Feeney's soul is going to be a part of her. And she's still going to be her. But at the same time, she's not going to be herself. I mean, Feeney is going to have control. This is some fucking Sailor Moon type shit. Where, <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> it's like, this is Sailor Moon. Um, This is Sailor Moon as with freaking Hotaru and Mistress Nine type ish. Where, like, Mistress Nine took over Hotaru's body and it took, like, several fucking episodes for Hutaru to finally get control back. And then she ended up killing both herself and Mistress Nine, but she was reborn. I don't think that's going to happen with this show, because I don't really think Maria is going to die, essentially. I do think Mom and then the Doctor will die eventually before this second season is up, before we go into the third season. Well, really, before we go to the OVAs, and then season two, I mean season three. But, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that she's, in a way, she's having regrets now because I was like, if she doesn't have it by episode five, she's got to fucking have it by, at least by episode six because, I mean, girl, you really want something, like, you really don't want to be yourself anymore. But I think there has to be another reason of why she's doing this. It could be because of the fact that maybe she wants to get her sister back, but I feel like this is the same thing that I, like, I kind of wanted with Kanade in season one. It's like, once they're dead, there's no way in hell they can come back. And maybe they've tried, but they haven't tried enough. It's like, secretly in the back of her mind, she's like, you know, if we do this, or if we do that, or if we do what whatever, it's a possibility. But, you know, she's failed so many freaking times. What... What the hell could it be this time? You know, just thinking about that. You know, like, just the big old what ifs. You never know. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode six. Okay, episode six and three, two, one, go. I don't want to see this again. Just, uh, this girl might 
faint from after like slicing her arm and then the blood just you and like I mean this show just turned dark for a moment. I mean it ain't like no magical girl rising project or no magical girl site ish, but It's cold. I know I got the heat on, but still, like, um, freezing. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cody. <laughs> Be so pissed and make that be the <laughs> I don't think piss will be the word. It's gonna be worried, but like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> oh my God, that looks so gross. Very far to the point where, yeah, he he's garments now, kind. I mean, that's, you know, that's kind of, you know, when we need to say time out, stop. But, I mean, no, killing the kids was when we needed to fucking stop. Right then and there. See, Maria now wants to do something. But we just gotta go get something to eat. Let's go. Because it's that guilt. You know this is wrong, so just stop. Like I said, she treats them like objects. Mm hmm So maybe this is the moment right here where you need to stop and go on the side of good, baby.
But you ain't got no arm, so. Oh, okay. I mean, if she goes like that just for losing her arm, I, I can't imagine if it was a leg. Anything. Okay, well, shit. <clears throat> She might actually kill this thing. That poor thing, like, oh my god, he was running away, like, he didn't want to do anything else, but he became like, fuck it, like, you know, you ate my arm, mm -mm. holy shit, bitch, mm -mm. I think so too. One hundred percent. Absolutely. Okay, here's a quick question I've been wondering ever since like we found out every single time when she coughs, she bleeds. What the fuck caused that? Like, is it the explosion of the fire and everything with Serena and such? Or is it something else completely different? Which could be the reason why they want to maybe save her. I mean, shit. I, I would just say let, him go, let her go. Let him kill him. Yeah, she got her arm back. Though. I know. Uh, right? Right! She just need to sleep for a couple of days. I mean, chill out. She may wake up tomorrow and be like, hey! Oh, shit. Um... <clears throat> She'll be fine. Awesome.
Oh. Oh shit. Oh, being girlfriend, big love. They're not gonna they're gonna take that scab and analyze it for some shit, right? Like Yeah. The lies you tell. Okay. <clears throat> it possibly will. She could have been. Um, there you go. She might not even last for years. Mm -hmm. But see, we know the key, the shit that Fina was talking about in season one, that are, that's kind coming to light in this season Hibiki's the key I, I mean shit would they really kill Hibiki off for like a second and then just to bring her I don't know fuck yeah see y'all say that but you know this is Hibiki we talking about Hibiki don't fucking fight Hibiki don't get no shit <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, because we're like, fuck it. Like, no, I don't want my friends to get hurt. Of course they did. Subasa. No, it's not okay. No, you can't. No. Then we all get hurt. Who the fuck gonna save you? My God, you're being so hard headed. Six. Yeah, you are. Where are you guys at? Yeah, but see, I don't feel like y'all want to go to go ahead and talk to that fucker because I mean he is too far gone. No, we ain't gonna see that till next week, right? Honestly, I'm hungry too. It's literally now nine o'clock and I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> I kind of want to eat before I watch Horizon, but I want to get all this stuff done now so that when I edit, I can go ahead and eat. See, she's gonna, because she's upset, she's gonna stress eat, and that's not good. <laughs> okay, you know what? Hold up. The more I hear that girl, this the gray hair girl talk, I know her voice, but I can't think of her right now. She voiced somebody else from something that I've watched. Oh, that looks so good. Hmm?
Of course. And see, she can't fight because if she fights, she's going to go berserk. This is a damn if you do, damn if you don't situation. What can she do? Kiwi key. I don't think that was supposed to happen, but yeah. Okay, my child, I understand why she did that, but still, I mean, we're in a situation where Tsubasa was like, hey, you can't do this anymore. You gotta go sit your ass on the side because of the fact that you go berserk. You're gonna die if this thing overtakes you. And the thing is, Tsubasa ain't tell her that shit. And it's like, if she, I think if she did possibly tell her everything, would he be possibly have stopped? Possibly not knowing her. I mean, he is a little hard-headed, you know? <laughs> Think about any other character Ali Yugi has fucking played that I've seen. She's played a lot of hard headed characters. Futaba, Madoka, fucking um Saga, Tell you the Evil, like that girl hard headed as fuck. But still She's in a it's in a damned if you do damned if you don't. It's just it's her choice at the end of the day. And I think she's gonna find out the reason of it by the end of the season, I hope. And it's probably going to make her, like, be kind of hesitant of transforming and using her sinful gear. But I don't think she's going to hesitate over it. She's just going to be like, if I got to use it, I got to use it. If I can't use it, I'm not going to use it. So Chris and Tsubasa have to hold their weight on this. But, I mean, what the fuck? Are you serious? Like, no. No. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I mean, shit. Like. Can we just say like okay, Subasa is not a bitch. We're not. We're I'm not. I'm not saying that she is like Subasa. The things that she's done from season one to season two, she does it for good reasons, and that's why I love her as a character. Even with the fact that yes, she's pushing Kibiki away and saying you can't do this um anymore. You need to stop. And she has her own intentions. Why and the reason why she can't tell her and it's like that because of reasons. I get that. She reminds me. And I'm going back to another Save the reference of this. With fucking Save the Uranus and Save the Neptune when they were fucking so freaking pissed at Usagi. This was like a, I don't remember because it's been a long fucking time since I've seen that damn episode and I can't even believe I'm remembering this shit right now. Um, it's like how Usagi was like, oh no, 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 I want us to work together, and how those two were like, no, we're doing our own thing, yada, 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 to the point where they had this conversation at the aquarium, and eventually, um, Haruka, I'm about to say me too, Haruka took her brooch, said, mm, mm you're done, you can't do this anymore, and in the end, uh, me too, and Haruka, they die because their freaking treasures are inside them, and then she fucking stay in the room, fucking cries like Hibiki, and then you know, badass fucking powers, OP just comes up. But uh, it's just the differences between Usagi and Hibiki. Hibiki doesn't hesitate. I mean, Hibiki don't fucking cry. Hibiki, well, she cried, but she ain't no damn cry baby. Like, um, yeah, yeah, Hibiki ain't a fucking cry baby. Let's just say that now. But I feel like it's maybe by the end of this season or like getting closer and closer to the end of this season, it's going to take a toll on her and it's going to be way more effective than it is right now. So it may not be by the end of this season it may be the start of season three where they're literally going to have to tell her, you need to sit the fuck out. Like you can't do this anymore. But she's still going to be like, no, I want to do this no matter what. And then just, like, don't get me started on the Maria situation. Like, it, it's just these two girls are here for two different reasons. And their destinies and shit like that. And then you have everybody else. And mm, I do hope that we still get to learn more about the other two. Because um, essentially we have. But because of the fact is it's more about Maria 
the other two essentially are like the minor characters of this show. We really don't know that much backstory on them. I mean, we're six episodes into this show as of today. And I'm probably going to watch like maybe two more on Friday or Saturday, depending on what I'm doing between packing and shit. Um, if they don't really do a backstory on them this season, I'm kind of hoping for season two. Because I still... The the shit that What's Her Face... Uh, I think it's Kide. Uh, she said to Hibiki around like episode one or episode two about the hesitating thing. There has to be something about her past on that. There, It's got to be something else. And so that's why I'm like, I hope that they do something. But at the same time, if they don't, it's okay. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode five and six of Symphogear G. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially on next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episode 7 and 8. Bye, guys!